Hey guys, Jamie the Divine Seer here. How's everybody doing today, wherever you are in the world and whatever time you're at? Thank you, welcome, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, thank you for coming in and liking the video and subscribing. Um, if you have not done so already, please do. It does help me out, it helps the channel out, it helps me to pick up better on your energy if you subscribe to my channel because I am a conduit. I am a psychic medium, my channel the messages, I'm an intuitive, I pick up the energy off of the cards, and I'm an extreme empath, so I pick up a lot. Okay, so use your discernment and intuition when it comes to these readings. Okay, this is not going to be for everybody, and this is not a fear-mongering reading, but I got a download today as I was getting ready, and I kept... Because they knew I was going to go on a video because I already told them. And I was like asking for messages. And I was hearing that somebody's trying to do. Here we go again. And I got my sage going for a reason. They told me sage instead of dragon's blood today. So I was like, okay. Um, somebody's trying to do a cloaking spell on you. Somebody doesn't want you to be seen. Somebody doesn't like the attention you're getting. Um, somebody's also trying to do a beauty spell on you. Uh, mirror magic. It's almost like, and I'm hearing also, thank you, spirit. They're sending you the evil eye. It's like there's somebody is butthurt. <laughs> somebody is really butthurt. And it's like, maybe you cut this person off or maybe you, I, th I feel like this is a family member or like a, like a, like a friend you haven't talked to in a long time or something like that. And then all of a sudden, like they, they tried to text you or they tried to get in your energy again. And it's like, there's something here about you're heavily protected, but um, they're just spirits telling you to just make sure that you stay in high vibe. Make sure that you don't let this bother you. Just keep doing what you're doing. Move in silence. Don't tell anybody your, thank you spirit for the sage. Um, don't tell anybody your business that you don't trust and that you don't know. Um, I was hearing cloaking spell and I kept seeing like a blanket or like a cloak being put over you or put over what you're doing. Somebody's trying to block your blessings is what I got as a message. Somebody's trying to keep you from your blessings. Tr somebody's trying to keep you from your generational wealth, from your destiny. Um, they may be trying to destiny swap with you. They may be trying to take what they feel is theirs, but it's not theirs. Um, spirit saying, don't give them any attention. Don't give them any power. Just keep doing what you're doing. If you've been feeling tired lately or you've been feeling like you want to get up or you 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 have to do something, but you don't have the energy to do it, uh, push through. Push through. Get in the shower. Get in the water. Go outside. Walk around nature. Go ground yourself. There's something here about that. But somebody, and I'm hearing chastity belt too. Somebody doesn't, somebody's trying to stop a union as well from coming in. I'm feeling that as well, like maybe putting a chastity belt on you or like blocking your sacral, trying to block your sacral and your solar plexus. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, we're gonna get into that. This is not a fear mongering. This is somebody that is really butthurt that doesn't want you to basically get anything that you've worked your ass off for or that is yours. They think it's theirs. They want to take it from you, but it's actually yours. Um, this is what I'm picking up. I saw that very, very clearly. And then the beauty spells, it's almost like maybe you are a very attractive person or maybe you get a lot of, I'm hearing limelight. You might be in the limelight. So you could be a tarot reader like me on YouTube or you could be somebody that's on Facebook and like tries to push love and light and everything. It's like they're trying again. They're trying again. Um, but don't let it bother you. Like I said, stay in high vibe as much as possible. This is just me letting you know because spirit wants you guys to be aware to make sure you're protecting yourself, clearing your energy, make sure you're doing what you need to do. Somebody here needs to eat a little bit healthier as well and drink a little bit more water. I am not a medical professional at all. Um, something about cobwebs as well. You might be seeing cobwebs or spiders, or you might be feeling like you're walking through cobwebs. That's somebody trying to put up a trap is what I'm hearing. You have to be very discerning right now. Very, very discerning. You could be in a very abundant energy right now. And somebody's really, really trying really hard to get into that energy. Oh, what is this? Yeah, I said somebody's trying to block a union, right? Yeah. Somebody's trying to block a union. Two of cups. 
two of cups, and then you got judgment. See? Because somebody's going through karma. That's what it is. Somebody's going through karma. Somebody is realizing that you're about to be wifed up or husband up soon. And there's somebody here that is really like wanting to get what you have. They feel like it's theirs. It's their karma. Okay. That they're basically <sighs> two, of, two of wands. There's something about you moving forward. You like having to stick with what it is that you're doing. And don't let anybody like pull you down. Don't let anybody keep you from speaking your truth. Don't let anybody like try to pull one over on you. You're a very clever individual, whoever you are. There's something here about the light. Okay. You have a bright golden aura or like a really bright white light. And somebody is trying to keep you from moving forward. This person is trying to bring in balance to your, um, to your life, basically. I feel like this person who's going through karma right now feels like they're walking a tightrope, feels like they can't get their life together. And maybe this person is, is going through something. Let's put it that way. Somebody wants to get up the ladder. Like there's something here about maybe this person feels like you're on a high horse and they feel like you need to like lower yourself a little bit and get off your high horse. But Again, if you are somebody who's just focusing on you, focusing on your bag, focusing on your business or whatever it is that you're doing, your kids, your family, whatever, um, and just like you're, you're very abundant. That's why it's very important for you to be careful who you let into your energy. Be careful who you have around your energy. Be very discerning of who you give your time and energy to. It's very important. You guys are going to see incense going through the camera. You're not going to see orbs. It's just, well, you may. Depends. But there's, I'm telling you, because somebody sees that you're about to go into a union and you're about to get a lot of love and that you're in balance. That's what it is. This person is going through karma. They're not in balance right now. This person may feel like you owe them. See, I told you five of cups. This person is butthurt. They're butthurt. You need to, this could be a karmic. This could be a karmic. And it's like, you might've closed a karmic cycle and now like, there's either another person coming in with the same kind of energy or there's somebody else trying to get into your energy because they're trying to block your blessings. They know a union is coming in for you. They know that you're about to get hitched is what I'm hearing. They also know that you are bringing in and attracting a lot of wealth to you. And this person is pissed off and upset and depressed because they want to be in on that with you or they want to get a piece of the pie. Tell me more about this person. Yeah, this person wants to talk to you. Whoever this person is wants to talk to you. Page of Wands. This person's a page. Extremely immature. Feels like you're gullible. Has this kind of smirk on their face. There's something here. Maybe this person found out some news. Like maybe this person got readings on you or this person does readings them, like themselves on you. There's something here about this person found out news about you about to be headed into a divine union. 100%. 100%. See that gold light? It's like sunlight, right? You're about to get the love of a lifetime. You're about to get a really, really beautiful union. And this person is trying to stop it. Maybe this person's trying to distract you is what I'm hearing. Like they're trying to keep you from moving forward. This person feels like whatever news. I'm hearing gossip again. I'm hearing that. I know that was just on the live that I picked up. Somebody's gossiping about you, saying things about you. Now, again, if you don't know this for sure, like use your discernment, okay? But there's somebody here that I'm hearing trying to get information on if, like, if you're on, they want to know if you're in this union. This could be a karmic. Like I said, this could be their karmic, the person that's coming in. It could be their, and a bird just flew by my window. That's a message, okay? You're about to get a message. Look at, you already know. This could be a high priestess. This could be another high priestess. This could be a dark high priestess. It's not in reverse, but this is somebody who's also a seer or you're a seer. You know something. Like they, they know something about you, possibly, especially if they've been doing readings on you. But it's like they're not getting the right information. They're not getting the right information. They think whatever. Yeah, see, thank you, spirit. They think... They think whatever that you're getting is owed to them. They feel like you stole something from them. Basically, you're a fucking empress. 
It's because you're an empress. You're an empress mode. You're, you're in attraction. It's because you're abundant. You're making things happen. You're a master manifester. You're somebody who like is all four queens or all four kings. Don't get butt hurt. No gender and tarot in the deck. And this person is butt hurt. This could be a mother. Okay. This could be a mother. This could be a baby mom. This could be like a feminine energy that is very like toxic. My left ear is ringing. There's something here about you're being warned about something because my left ear was just ringing, ringing. You got hummingbird right here too. Somebody like your ancestors are talking to you. Your ancestors are letting you know. I saw swans yesterday when I was um, out and I was like, Ooh, I was like, okay. So if you're seeing swans and you're seeing like things in doubles, or if you're seeing like, like, you know, geese, geese actually mate for life. They only have one, like, and if that other goose is like gone, they don't, they're, they're single. So it's like, there's something here about that. And this person is like, look, you got the five. It's because you're an earth angel. Whatever they are doing to you, whatever they're trying to do to you, they cannot stop you. You are an earth angel. You're in alignment. And that's why they're doing this. They're trying to get you off of this path. That's what this is. You have the five of cups, the five of coins, and the nine of coins. Listen, or the nine of swords. Listen, this person's in heavy regret, very depressed, needs your energy, needs your needs to know your information. There's something about that. Five of coins, this person feels like you abandoned them and rejected them or like feels left out in the cold from you because whatever you're getting, they want a piece of the pie is what I'm hearing. But they also like, they also want information on you. There's something about them like gossiping. Maybe they found out something. I feel like they found out something and they want to know if it's true or they like, like if you're in a union with somebody or like what you're attracting, they want a piece of the pie. This person's been losing sleep. This person's been having nightmares about you. This person could be having like being haunted by you or by like your ancestors or your guides. Somebody is like not okay. Somebody's very anxious, feels rejected, has a lot of nervousness around them. Your angels are protecting you though. Whatever this union is, you're being protected. You and this person are protected. There's no way this person can do anything. Even delaying it, it's not going to work. It's not It's it's not going to stop. Now, now it's like I said nine of coins before, nine of coins is on the bottom of the deck. It's because whatever you're attracting, you're very magnetic. And this person misses your magnetic energy. Thank you, spirit. You got the queen of coin and the nine of coin. It's because you worked your ass off for it. Whatever it is that you got... You deserve it. It's yours. It's not anybody else's. You are somebody that's very independent, magnetic. You're very intuitive. You pick up on things. Your intuition is on fire right now. There's something about the queen of coins. This person, like you, be like you, who you are, there's somebody here that sees you as the full package, the full catch, wants to wife or husband you up. There is a magnetism between the two of you with this union. And this person who's feeling all of this wants to stop this because you're in, you're in your like Empress, Nine of Coin, Queen of Coin. Like these are great cards. Whoever you are, this person is seeing you this way and they're butthurt. They, they don't want you. Thank you, Spirit. Your name could be Peter or dealing with a, um, somebody named Peter because Peter just came across my screen and now on my computer. Somebody sees you in high honors right now, like very like, it's almost like you're being guarded against, like not against, but you're being like, you're being heavily protected. You're being heavily protected. You put the work in. That's what it is. You put the work in and whoever this is that's anxious and nervous and having nightmares and restless sleep and maybe insomnia, they feel like you rejected them. They feel like you owe them something. You don't owe them anything. You don't owe them anything. This person could be drinking, doesn't have to. I'm hearing borderline alcoholic. There's somebody here that is just, this person could be dreaming about you, seriously. What is coming in for the collective? I'm hearing like marriage. I'm hearing um, going to the chapel. I, this person knows. Yeah, you walked away from someone. You walked away from something. And now you're going towards your happiness. And that's the truth. Because my my 
phone just went off. You walked away from something you thought was good, but you just weren't happy with it. It wasn't making you emotionally fulfilled. You got Horace right here. You might have Horace as a guide. Ra. There's something here about you're walking towards your, your, your happiness. That's what's, that's what's happening for you collective. Yeah. This was in like sideways. You may not think that your ships are coming in. You may not think that something's coming in, but it is. God's like, God's got you. And your spirit team is waiting on the shore for whoever this is to try to make a move. You are heavily protected, heavily guarded. The ship is coming in. It's literally like, it's not even on the water. The ship is coming through the sky. This is, this is from your, your ancestors. This is from God. I feel like somebody was waiting to see if you were in a divine union and now they're wanting to know because there's something about maybe they were trying to do a cloaking spell on you or trying to do a beauty spell on you. They were trying to do some sort of spell. Like, come on, people. Like, really, if you have to do spells on people, I mean, Jesus. There's something you've been waiting for. It's coming in. You've been waiting for it. It's coming in. It's yours. It's yours. That's all I keep hearing. Look at the devil. I'm telling you. I am telling you, this could be the devil himself. This could be the devil himself trying to stop your blessings or the devil is sending people your way to distract you, to keep you from getting what it is that you have worked your ass off for. There's somebody here in toxicity. Somebody here was playing, playing a game. They were playing a game with you. That's what they were doing. This could be the devil, like I said. There was, thank you, spirit. There's something here about, and it's right underneath the five of pentacles, the five of cups, and the nine of swords. The devil is right here. Somebody was trying to send illusion magic to your dreams as well because we got the nine of swords. That is actually dreaming as well. Somebody was trying to make you lose sleep or like block your dreams. Something here about that. Somebody was trying to siphon off of your energy and somebody was trying to come into your dreams, cloak to somebody else. Thank you, spirit. But it's actually like the devil in human form. Somebody was trying to cloak themselves in your dreams as somebody else, as like maybe this divine union. But listen, God is God stepped in to a sword. You see right through it. You could see right through them and they're pissed. You saw right through it. You saw what they're, what you already know because you're not really blindfolded. You could see right through it. Somebody wants you to have rose colored glasses on. Somebody wants you to be like, you're, maybe they were trying to block your sight. Whoever this person is. She's fucked up. Whoever this person is was trying to block your sight. Yeah. Because you're, what you're manifesting is coming true. Because you took a risk. You went out on your own or like you, you went into uncertainty. You took a risk on yourself. You hit your higher self and you are completely in alignment. Somebody was, I'm hearing a puppet master. Look at the moon. Somebody was trying to be a puppet master in your life and, and like shadow what you already know. The moon, the moon, not as, not everything is as it seems. Like there's somebody here that was trying to do illusion magic, ma moon magic. Maybe at the new moon, when the solar eclipse happened, this person did like a spell on you to see if it worked. And now it's like, it's backfiring is what I'm hearing. Look at, cause this is what you're manifesting. <laughs> you're about to have your happiness. You're going to cozy up with somebody. You're going to cuddle up with somebody. You're going to be completely like in someone's arms. And this person does not want this to happen for you because there's something here about if you get with this person and I'm telling you, if it's not a person, it's the devil himself trying to get into your energy, but you've already surpassed is what I'm hearing. Whatever, whatever has been done. It's almost like your angels, your archangels, your ancestors, God, all working for you, blocking out this person and making sure this person cannot get to you. There's something here about that. Owls, because you, you're wiser now. 
You have ancient wisdom in you. And there's something that you do with your energy that somebody underestimated you with or that the devil underestimated you with. I feel like whoever this person is underestimated, like how really like divine you are and how connected to God you are. Cause you could be a messenger. Like I said, you could be a tarot reader or you could be somebody on a platform or like putting out Instagram and Facebook. And you could be somebody that's just trying to push love, trying to push like, you know, healing and like trying to help the planet. And this person doesn't want that. You got the 10 of cups right here. You could have a cat. Oh, you have a cat. There's somebody here that was trying to, I'm hearing they were trying to block your third eye. They were trying to block your chakras. Like this person was trying to shut down your chakras, block your chakras from happening, like from creating something with your sacral, from having your power with your solar plexus, from having you like block money with your root chakra. Like somebody might have like heard, I don't know. I'm hearing jokester. Like somebody thought it was a joke to mess with you, to play in your energy, to be the puppet master, to try to do this to you. Like I said, I don't want this to be a fear mongering thing. I'm just like, I'm giving you the messages that I'm channeling. And like, I'm all about spreading love and light and healing. And I want everybody to be happy. That is the honest to God truth. And if anybody says otherwise, you don't know me or you thought you knew me. But here's the thing. You are about to get happiness. You're manifesting a happy family. You're manifesting the happiest time of your life. And it's because you took a risk. It's because you let your higher self take the wheel. You let God take the wheel. Yeah. Don't let anybody, like, put you down or try to distract you. Like, if drama starts coming towards you, like, you have to really, like, walk away from it. Like, don't even bother with it. Just be like, you know what? I'm unfazed. It's not bothering me. Whatever. And really, like, just keep going. Because whatever, look at, because when you actually just don't even let it bother you, when you walk away from the bullshit communication, there's something about somebody wants to come in with communication. You walking away from somebody and heading towards your true happiness you're manifesting communication possibly with somebody or you're manifesting something to happen really quick. This is the red thread of fate. Look at the sun. As you walked away, as you walked away from what I, if, if, remember I said about walking away from drama and not letting drama come to you and not paying attention to anybody that's like bringing it. Walk away from it. Let it go. You might have already done this. You might have already walked through a door, walked through a portal. And that's what it is. Thank you, Spirit. I just heard you already walked through the portal. You already walked through that door. And now you're getting this communication and the sun. You're getting teamwork. Look at Somebody's about to communicate something to you. Somebody wants to speak with you. And I feel like whatever communication this is, is going to make you super happy. The sun is here. The sun is shining on the eight of cups and the eight, eight, eight. You have eights here, which is abundance, which is ever like infin infinity. And we're in the eighth year. I'm telling you, I see Horus here. Like you could be seeing hawks. When you see hawks, that's Horus. That's a good omen. Yeah, you're not going to have this anymore. Okay, three of swords. No more heartbreak. You're about to receive something from the divine. Your name could also be Paul or dealing with a Paul. It just came up. Nora could be your name as well. Just came on my feed, on my screen. There is no more heartbreak. Whatever communication is about to come in for you, if you have already, like, you might have already had contact with a person with this divine union. You might have already had communication. When you get this communication, if you haven't done it already, okay, it's going to make you so happy. You're not going to be brokenhearted anymore. And then all of a sudden you're about to receive because this is your karma. Because this is your, you're on the right side of right. Because you, you heeded, I'm hearing you heeded the warnings. You listened to your spirit team. You listened to God and God said, 
listen, walk away from whatever is like not serving you. You're going to get what you want anyways. You're about to receive a major freaking, I'm hearing major payout, major blessing. It's not just about money though. This is like everything you've ever asked for. It's going to be better than expected. This is your judgment. You might get an apology from somebody. Doesn't have to. But there's something here about the judgment card. Because I feel like this is your, your angels have been blessing you. Your angels have been, your angels have been um, right there with you the whole time. And there's something about like, it's like if you had certain angels before, more angels, more archangels are coming in. You're getting more protection on top of protection. The world. Yeah, because if you're doing something like this, because let me tell you something. You got, if you, if you got hateration, if you got hateration right now, if you got a lot of people like hating on you, you're doing something right. You're doing something right. If you're seen out in the world, yeah, because you know why? Because you walked away and closed a frigging karmic cycle. And because you closed a karmic cycle, now things can move forward for you. That's what it is. You're not paying any mind to the bullshit. You're not like letting anybody come in that's like drama. Like you're not letting this happen to you. There's something here about the evil eye. Like I said, there's somebody here that wants, like you walk through the portal. This is a portal. You went through a portal. Eight, eight. It also could be Lionsgate. Like August coming up, there's something big about Lionsgate for you this year. I feel like something's going to happen before that, though. Like, you're being blessed. Maybe you're being seen out in the world, like I was saying. Maybe you are you are being seen out in the world. And this is what you're about to receive. You're going to receive a lot of, like, I'm hearing fans are, like, you might have, like, a fan, like an OnlyFans or something. I don't know. I don't know. There's something about you're going to be receiving so many blessings upon blessings and no one's going to be able to stop this because God is in charge. Look, oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so <laughs> they told me to cut the deck. Yeah, because you're protected. You're being protected while you sleep. They're trying to get into your dreams. Look at this. You got an emperor coming. If you don't, if you're an emperor yourself, you are, you're getting your empress. Vice versa. No gender and tarot. You have spiritual authority. You also have somebody in. You also have somebody in the spirit realm that is of authority. And that's not letting anybody do this to you. you you're like a spiritual judge in the friggin' spiritual realm. You can call judgment. You can call justice. You're a leader. You're somebody who's meant to lead. And your determination and your ambition and your hard work is paying off and somebody's pissed off and butthurt. You could call judgment and justice. You could talk to God or talk to your spirit team and call justice on them. Oh, I just saw a rainbow prism coming from the freaking incense. Oh, cool. Listen, you have authority. You are, you have authority. You're being heavily protected in your dreams. This person who's been trying to mess up your dreams, trying to come in and cloak themselves with somebody else, trying to like keep you from getting what it is, trying to delay the progress that you have. This person is not going to work. You're very heavily protected. You have somebody in the spiritual realm that is fighting your battles for you while you sleep. You're heavily protected. Heavily. And then you have this coming. Right after the chariot was the lovers. There's the swans. I just mentioned, wait, is it swans or geese? I think the... Oh, no, they're not swans. They're geese. I mentioned geese too. You have a divine love coming in. A divine, look at this. You and this person are going to be unbreakable, inseparable. You're going to look at each other like there's nobody else. This is a beautiful love coming in. <laughs> You're not going to have to wait anymore for this love to come in. Now, granted, everybody's like, when is this? When is this? When are they going to communicate? Every reader says that, blah, 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 blah. Listen, everything is divine timing. It's on God's time. There was something that had to happen first. There was something that had to happen first. And whether that's you having to heal or that person having to heal or you needing to close out a cycle or that person trying to close out a cycle first, something has to happen first for this divine union to come in. But it's moving fast. 
You got this emperor here. The emperor is the one, you know, doing the chariot. Black and white. Listen. You're you're a spiritual judge. You are a spiritual judge in this in the spirit realm. You are. You 100 percent are. And maybe somebody underestimated your power. Maybe someone underestimated your power, underestimated your guides or your ancestors, or underestimated like the protection that you have. I'm also hearing something about. I'm also hearing something about, um, oh man, I wish I can, who's texting me now? Oh, okay, fine. Um, I'm hearing something about, um, oh man, I lost it. All right, it'll come back. I'm going to do this really quick and then I got to go. <clears throat> so this isn't, I'm like hoping this isn't going to be long, but this needed to get out because... Like, it's like they're trying again. <laughs> it's like the devil is trying again. Or like a person, the devil's sending somebody your way to try again. It's like, it gets tiring after a while. There's something about you were being psychically attacked. They underestimated your protection. They underestimated you. And you're like, yeah, see? Because when you walked away, now you got a king of cups coming in. You have somebody coming in that has a lot of love for you. This person could be secretly in love with you. It could be a friend of yours or an old friend of yours that is secretly in love with you. This person could be like kind of like have a secret obsession with you. Thank you, spirit. Okay, your name could be Jack or dealing with a Jack. Because Jack just came up. Something about Medjugorje. Med I'm hearing Medjugorje. Med Medjugorje. Med um, I don't know what that's about. You could be Spanish or Hispanic. I'm hearing the name Christy. Your name could be Christy or dealing with a Christy. Is that weird? She just, did she just come up on my feet? I don't know if she did, but I'm hearing the name Christy. Somebody's trying to do magic on you again. Just block them. Just do whatever you can to up your protection. Like I said, go hug a tree. Go outside, go for a walk, get in the water. Yeah, you have somebody coming in that's possibly a king of pentacles, king of cups, whatever. You have a lot of stability coming in and it's coming in fast. And you have communication coming in from somebody. This person is done. Like whoever this person is that was trying to do all this spell work on you, it's done. You're, you're too protected. They can't get to you. You're too high above. You're in high vibration. Look at, I just, eight of wands, tower, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you have the six of pentacles and the eight of wands. You're about to receive some sort of communication. You're about to receive some really fast momentum with this union or with like your money. And this is it. There's a tower because whatever you've been manifesting is coming because you're a man master manifester. Because you've been manifesting whatever it is that you like, this is what you've been doing. You've been putting in the work. You've been working on yourself, doing your shadow work. You've been like staying in your own lane. You're not messing with anybody. You're not trying to do anything wrong to anybody. You're sending out love and light. You're not like, you don't hate on anybody. And there's something here that you've been manifesting and it's coming in and it's going to shock the shit out of you. It is going to shock the shit. Whatever is coming into your life that is in, like, like I'm hearing abundance. Lots of abundance, lots of fertility, lots of prosperity. Like, you're having everything all at once is what I'm hearing. Because you had to walk away from something. You had to walk away from the pain. You had to leave somebody behind in order for you to get your justice is what I'm hearing. In order for you to get your balance. Somebody here was keeping you out of balance. And now there's somebody here that the devil or like, this could be an old family member. Like I said, a family member, they're trying to get you out of balance, but it's not going to work. What is this tower? What is this tower? Up or down? They said up. Page of Wands. Page of Wands came out again. This is news that you're going to find out. Whatever news this is, 
Whatever communication or news this is, is going to like make you so happy. It's going to make you so happy. Somebody's going to, somebody could tell you you're the one for them. Like they're in love with you and they want to marry you. I'm keep hearing the chapel. Going to the chapel and we're going to get married. There's something about somebody got thrown off their throne. Somebody got thrown off their throne. This is on top of the five of cups, five of coin, and the nine of swords. Somebody got knocked off their fucking pedestal, knocked off their throne. I feel like somebody fell from grace. Look at three of cups in reverse fell on top of the empress, the magician, and the three of wands. Somebody was trying to do something to you. And look, it's not working. They celebrated too early. They thought by taking a risk to do this against you was going to work. It didn't. It's not. It's backfiring. Somebody was trying to manifest your demise. Somebody was trying to manifest you like losing everything. I'm going to tell you that. They were dethroned, I'm hearing. They were dethroned. They were thrown out of the tower. And that might be the news that you're going to find out. That somebody here thought they were being funny, thought it was a joke to mess with you, but you already had like, you already had protection in the spiritual realm. You already have, like you have people fighting for you, even like when you're not sleeping. Somebody was trying to throw arrows towards you because this is Cupid's arrow. Somebody was trying to throw arrows towards you and it didn't work. Because you received, it's almost like their, their magic, their spells backfired. And now you're receiving what it is that they were trying to do to you. Like whatever it is that they were trying to do to you on you, beauty spells, whatever. It's going to backfire and go right back to them. There's something about you're too high. You're too elevated. You've ascended. You've gone through portals. You've walked through like the door. The door is open, was open. You open the door. You close the door shut. You locked it. You sealed the cracks and you have divine protection. You've always had divine protection, but you had to close a cycle out first. And because you closed out a cycle first with whoever this was, now this is coming in. There is no celebration for whoever was trying to do this on an empress. Whoever was trying to do this on somebody, like on you collective, that you're in empress mode. You've been waiting for your ships to come in. God is bringing this to you anyways. They cannot destiny swap. Look at, look at, they can't destiny swap. Look at, this is your justice. And look, the nine of cups wants to come up. Emotional fulfillment is yours. This person, look at, it's because of your strength. Look at, there's a strong love connection here. This, this connection is so fucking strong. So strong. The way you have somebody protecting you. I'm telling you, this person, whoever this divine union is, this person is protecting you. They're super strong. And you and this person have a strong love, strong bond. That can't be broken. This is your justice. This is your justice. This I'm putting, oh, and the Knight of Cups behind. This person's about to come in if they haven't done this already. This person's about to come in. This person wants to carry you, wants to take care of you. Wants to hold you up for you to shine to everybody. I'm telling you, this person can be so supportive of you, loving on you, giving you, I'm hearing again, the royal treatment, giving you like everything you've ever wanted. You've got dolphins in the background. These dolphins mate for life. You could be from Australia. You don't have to. There's something here about the justice card, though. I'm seeing something about Australia. person you got the knight of cups right here yeah because whatever this other person was this is this is gonna be this love that comes in there's a major breakthrough major change coming into your life that person that was doing that was an ego they were all about pride and ego they were all about themselves <clears throat> somebody's trying to keep me quiet somebody's trying to keep you from getting this love offered and from getting like everything, abundance, money, a new home, possibly a new car, possibly like anything you've been manifesting, everything we've been asking for. 
This person was trying to keep you from attracting. You did something out of the norm. You changed something. You went through this portal. You went through this door. You closed the door. And now shit's about to happen for you. This, whatever they try to do is over. It's not going to work anymore. It's not going to work anymore. Yeah. They tried to mess up your clarity. They tried to confuse you. Like I said about the illusion magic, the beauty magic. Oh, thank you, Sparrow. 155. Things are about to change. <sighs> Listen. Whatever... Whatever lies that were told on you, whatever gossip that was told on you, maybe this person's going to say something to you. Not the person coming in, the person like who's trying to get into your energy again. There's going to be a lie. Because there's communication coming in. No. Thank you, spirit. No. I heard this was blocked communication. Somebody was blocking you and this person from communicating. Somebody was blocking this. Uh, there was a queen of swords. There was somebody that was a queen of swords that thought that they were slick. This person's coming in like a knight in shining armor, like really fast. I'm telling you, they were trying to block this person from coming in. They were trying to block communication with this person. This is what they've been trying to do. But it can't be stopped. There's too much of a strong bond here between you two. Strong love. This love is this love is so real, so rare. This is a pure love. They cannot block it. This is your justice. This person's going to come in anyway and give you their cup. They're going to explain to you why like maybe this person was trying to thank you spirit. Maybe this person was trying to contact you and text messages didn't go through or maybe this person was trying to send you emails and they didn't go through or maybe it's like there's something here about communication was blocked your happiness was blocked your communication was blocked why was communication blocked yeah because somebody didn't want you because some look at you got the empress thrown up right here somebody was trying to confuse you because they thought that because you're a queen of cups because you're an empress they thought because you're naive and you're gullible, they thought that they, you know, because you're so nice that you're weak. That's why they were trying to block communication. They're like, oh, collective will never know. They'll never know. This person coming in now, they want to give you their cup. They love the shit out of you. You're in empress mode, empress emperor mode. You are, you got empress twice. You got empress twice. You're highly intuitive. You're highly psychic. You're somebody who like is so vibrant, so radiant, so like you're on a glow up right now, possibly. Somebody here was trying to confuse the shit out of you. It didn't work. Or confuse the shit out of your person from coming in. What were they doing to the person? Ooh, my card almost got burned. Somebody was trying to burn you. A queen of swords. Somebody was trying to burn you or burn your person. Oh, somebody was trying to stop you from having a new beginning with someone. This could be a king of wands. It could be a Leo, a Sag, or an Aries who was trying to stop you and block you from a new beginning. What were they trying to block? I think that's what I asked. This person's been watching you. They fucking study you. They watch you all the time. But you're, thank you, spirit. But you're heavily, heavily fucking watched in the spirit realm. You're watched over by your people. And this person who was trying to keep you from having a new beginning thought that they could pull one over on you. This person wanted power. This person wanted to have power over you, control over you. Remember I said puppet master? Somebody here was trying to control you. But you're the empress. This, this person here, this King of Wands is looking over at the Empress and the Queen of Queen of Cups. I know that was not incense. Something just flew on top like this. That was not incense because I know the incense was over there. Somebody was trying to block your blessings. Somebody was trying. Who is this person I was trying to come in? Somebody. No, the angels protected you. Look at temperance fell on top of the Ace of Swords. 
The angels protected you. It didn't touch you. It didn't touch you. It can't. What's about to happen for the collective, please, Spirit? What's about to happen for the collective, please? <sighs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, whoever this was, whoever thought that they could stop this love from happening, they could be in like divine, like they could be a dark priestess. They could be like somebody who is like very dark. Somebody who thought their magic would work. It didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. Four of Wands. Ten of Pentacles flew on top of the Justice and the Nine of Cups. This is what's coming in for the collective. This is what's coming in. Somebody was trying to block your intuition. Somebody was trying to block your intuition and block your sight. And this person is a dark, very dark being. Very dark person. They were trying to take your strength. They were trying to, like, it literally fell on top of the Queen of Cups, the Knight of Swords, the Three of Wands, the Strength, and the Lovers. This person was, was trying to use magic to keep all of this from happening for you, but you're going to get it anyway. Yeah. And now they're going to be messed up. This person's going to have nothing but conflict. I just heard somebody's going to get punishment. Somebody's getting punishment. Somebody's getting punishment. Mm-hmm. And they're going to have to reflect on what they did. This person's going to have drama and chaos and conflict in their life. They're probably already in inner, inner turmoil. If they thought that they could do this to you, they're wrong. They're not going to be okay. This person has a lot of growing up to do is what I'm hearing spirits say. Five of swords because this person had competition energy with you. This could be a copycat. I was just hearing this could be a copycat. This person could totally be a copycat is what I was hearing. Like this person could have tried impersonating you or they admire you from afar, even though they hate you. This person is a copycat. They have a lot of reflecting to do because this person's in competition energy. This is such bullshit. Like there should not be any competition. Like we're all one, please. Like let's get a grip. I just heard Spirit say, though, this person has a lot of growing up to do. This person is acting like a child, is what I was just told. Five of Wands. Then you have the Hermit. This person's going to have to go reflect on. This person wanted to win at all costs, but it's not happening. Because, look, you're getting this person anyway. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you're a leader already. You could be a boss, boss bitch, boss man. Boss Daddy energy, Nine of Pentacles, you're intuitive and magnetic. You're attracting an emperor. You're attracting somebody to you. It's not happening. Whatever they try to do to you, it's not working. Stay sharp. Stay firm. You, take a, you took a risk on yourself. You went into the unknown. You took a risk on yourself, and it's been a slow thing coming in. You've gained your confidence. You gained your wisdom. Your knowledge, you're more intuitive than you ever know. Look, you got intuition, intuition. Somebody here was trying to get you in your head, create illusions. And this person who did this, five of cups, five of pentacles, because you're a fucking star. They can't stop your abundance. I'm out. I got to go. Like the video on your way out. Subscribe to my channel. If you like my energy and you like how I read. Personal readings. I am taking personal readings. I'm booking into May right now. Okay, so you want to get in now, email me, okay? Email me. It's in the description box. Anybody who wants to send me donations, I'm grateful for all the donations that I received recently. Listen, you can send it to my channel. I don't monetize on here, but the super chats are helping me, so I appreciate you um, to get my channel growing and to get, like, to help me, like, you know, to basically give back, which is great. Um, donations, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, if you want to send it there, okay? I love you guys so much. Remember... This is not about fear mongering. This is a warning from spirit. They're letting you know what's going on. Okay. This is not to put fear out there. It's not to cause more strife and pain and suffering. What you got coming is beautiful. You need to stay strong. Keep your head held high. Stay in high vibration as much as possible. When you start to feel something going on, block it, protect yourself, ask God, pray, pray against it. Pray against anybody who's trying to send you stuff. Okay. Prayer is powerful. Believe in yourself. 
If they were trying to control your mind and they were trying to keep you like be a puppet master, you need to be stronger than that. And I know you're strong. They can't do this to you anymore. They can't do this to you. Remember, God and your spirit team and your angels and ancestors and your ascended masters, they all have you. Let people underestimate you. It's okay. You just keep moving forward. That's what you're meant to do. All right. I love you guys. You guys have a great day. Bye.